Lexus reckons its CT200H petrol electric hybrid is both naughty and nice. It's powered by a 1.8 litre four cylinder petrol engine and an electric motor, which together offer up around 133 kilowatts and 349 newton metres. But the Lexus doesn't have being green and swift all to itself. Enter the Volkswagen Golf GTD. It runs a two litre turbo diesel four cylinder producing 125 kilowatts and 350 newton metres of torque. Hi, I'm Isaac. And I'm Trent. And today we're going to be checking out two greenish hot hatches. These are two different ways of having fun with your driving, but still being frugal with your fuel. Today he's in the Lexus and I'm in the Golf. Welcome to NRMA's driver's seat. If you like your driving and you enjoy the driving experience, you'll want this button here switched across into sport mode. When you think hybrid, you don't think sports and you don't think performance. The CT200 actually changes those rules a little bit. So I'm not sure what Trent's been saying about uh, the Lexus that he's in, but this Golf Diesel is unbelievable. In terms of the ride, well, it's fantastic. Nothing upsets it, no mid-corner bumps, no sharp-edged hits, nothing gets transferred inside the cabin, so you get this really sort of premium feel to the ride. In terms of the driving position, it's perfect. That Lexus that Trent's in is like an old armchair, but this thing is, is a hot hatch driving position. You sit down deep inside the car, there's plenty of glass so you've got great vision, but you sit in the car and you're actually driving and you feel like you're a part of the car. I'm not really convinced on these CVT gearboxes. They're very good for fuel efficiency, but they tend to dull the driving experience down a little bit. However, on the CT200, it actually feels really good, and it's quite possibly the best CVT that I've ever tested. A combination of petrol and electric engine delivers a really nice, smooth gob of torque right where you want it. You can pull out of the corners really well, and you never, ever feel wanting for power. And the steering feel through the bend is excellent. There's plenty of feedback, doesn't get sloppy, and there's no section in the middle of the steering where it ends up dead. So the steering in this Golf is it's just about perfect. It's nice and sharp, nice and direct, plenty of feel. The six-speed DSG gearbox, well, I'm coming around to DSG boxes. Around town, they can be a little bit jerky, but uh, when you're really going for it up in the hills like we are today, they're fantastic. When you buy a Lexus, you expect a certain level of fit and finish and you get that with this CT200. So what you're effectively getting is a luxury hatchback, which really, in the hybrid sense, hasn't been available before. Well, I like everything about this car, but one of the other things is the dashboard. You know, it's, it's sitting up nice and high, so I don't have to look away from the road to play with the stereo or play with the air conditioning, adjust the vents or, or whatever. So we went into today looking for the greenest hot hatch and, uh, well, I don't know whether we actually found that. Trent, how'd you find the Lexus? I really like the car, I love the Lexus. It's a lot more fun to drive than any hybrid has any right to be. The handling's great, the steering's great, and it feels really good to drive. But overall, I'm a little disappointed with the fuel consumption. I could only get this down to an indicated 6.3 litres per 100. So I reckon it's a little bit thirsty for what should be a hybrid, effectively. And that's very surprising because I kept this at 5.6 litres per 100 today. And we were up and down the mountain. Uh, we had a good time driving. And look, uh, the Lexus hasn't convinced me that hybrid's the way to go in terms of a green hot hatch. I'd stick with the Golf because it rides and handles really well. I think it looks great. I love the tartan seats. It just makes total sense to me. So we probably haven't helped anyone haven't today. Helped anyone? If you like hybrids, then this is the go. If you're just looking for fuel efficiency but you still want a good driving experience, I guess the Golf's the way to go. Absolutely. So I guess we're both going home in the Golf today. <laughs>